Oh, good, you got it. Is it 100% goose down? Yes. You sure? Why do you need this? I sleep over at John's house every year for his birthday. Okay, that's not creepy. I guess it is a little creepy when a young man who happens to be an only child loses both of his parents in a tragic accident one month before his birthday and then has a best friend make a vow that he will never spend his birthday alone again. Maybe that would fall under the category of creepy. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. That's okay. No, you're really sweet. I've got the perfect girl for you. <sighs> Janice, I apologize to you if I don't seem real eager to jump into a forced, awkward, intimate situation that people like to call dating. I don't like the feeling. You're sitting there, you're wondering, do I have food on my face? Am I eating? Am I talking too much? Are they talking enough? Am I interested? I'm not really interested. Should I play like I'm interested, but I'm not that interested? But I think she might be interested, but do I want to be interested? But now she's not interested. So now all of a sudden, I'm, getting, I'm starting to get interested. And when am I supposed to kiss her? Do I have to wait for the door? Because then it's awkward. It's like, well, good night. Do you do like the ass out hug? Where you like, you hug each other like this and the ass sticks out because you're trying not to get too close. You just go right in and kiss him on the lips. So don't kiss him at all. It's very difficult trying to read the situation. And all the while, you're just really wondering, are we going to get hopped up enough to make some bad decisions? And perhaps play a little game called just a tip. Just for a second, just to see how it feels. Or ouch, ouch, you're on my hair. OK. OK, can, can, you, can you put that so he, he can't see it? And thank you. Hey, Janice, great talk. <laughs>